And what I was thinking is while we're here, we could do like a mini update letter, the two of us together. Mm -hmm. Since you've been kind of with me for most of the stuff and we could talk about it to all my people. Does that work for you? Okay. <laughs> she has no idea what we're doing. I don't know. <laughs> I've been, okay, so I've been trying to write a letter. The first day I wrote a letter mm -hmm. and I didn't get it finished. The second, like, I think it was like three or four days in, I started writing a letter. I didn't get that finished. So I arrived in Honduras with Dani. It was great. I got to go see her for a little bit the mm, first yeah, day. Yeah, like 10, 15 minutes? Yeah. It was hard on Dani. It, it was because I haven't seen Dani in months. Mm -hmm. And I get back to Honduras and I say hi to her for like 10 minutes and then have to walk back. So I just got to go see Dani for the first time in three months since August. It was wonderful. Super short though. And Ed and Val have just arrived back in Honduras as well. And they are packing for what? No, for a food distribution that we were going to have for Christmas time. And yeah, to give that uh, to the families at Casa de Luz. Mm -hmm. And also we were planning uh, the Christmas celebration. Yep, so they have two of those, one mm -hmm. for the city and one for Zambrano. Mm -hmm. Danny's part of the Zambrano crew. Cause she's the main <laughs> teacher, team lead, Indeed. important person in Zambrano. <laughs> right, Danny? Yes. Yeah. I am important. <laughs> yeah, very, very important. Um, and so basically I was like working with Ed and Val for most of the second day I was there as well. And I only got to see you for like maybe 15 minutes while we were unpacking as well. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the Christmas the celebration. The eighth. Yes, yeah. it was the Christmas celebration on Thursday. Yeah. And that we got crazy. to spend some time, but actually we were not together all the time. No. Uh, because you were... Uh, I was taking pictures yeah, taking and pictures doing my thing. Yeah, pictures and videos and you know, Andrew. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, and I was kind of with the kids. Yeah. Um, I was doing a lot of things. It was... A very interesting day, but I am thankful because we got to do what we planned for the day, and the kids were really excited about mm. that. And I really, really enjoyed to see their faces. Yeah. Yeah, like when they were getting their presents, to see their happiness, it was oh, wonderful. And just to see Danny doing such a great job with it too, like <laughs> she she does a great job and. To see her being a teacher, a leader, so many other things all at once mm. is just like incredible. So I love that part about you, Danny. So. Wow, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> um, the ninth, basically, Danny was cleaning up Casa de Luz. I was, um, I had to stay at Ed and Val's house for most of the day. After Casa de Luz, I walked to my house and I started packing just a little bit. And I was kind of waiting for you oh, to yes. arrive early, yeah. but the thing is that Andrew couldn't um, I had to wait there, for yeah. Ed and Val to do something, so oh, yeah. finish up something. Mm -hmm. So then, I, but I did make it to your house, and, and mm -hmm. that, um, Ed dropped me off and with a whole bunch of boxes, and we packed up a mm -hmm. lot of Danny's house because the next day she was moving. Oh. So basically, we, we moved Ed, Shay, Danny, and I moved all of her stuff, van load after van load after van load of stuff. Mm -hmm. To a new apartment she can start kind of building it into a place where eventually once we get married mm. it cannot just be a house but a home and that's one of the biggest things i wanted to do is yeah. is kind of have that be something we could do and so it's like three stories high it's an apartment it's crazy but the views are so beautiful i'll have to show you a video of the views right mm -hmm. you know while we're talking about it right here because mm -hmm. it's gorgeous i think we are still doing some work there um, yeah, yeah it's, unpacking it's, and yeah it's cleaning been, like and crazy but it's looking great now it, it is looking great. yeah um i'm really excited about living in this new place which is going to be our home in the, future. Home in the future and so after we were finished unpacking i wanted to do a video interview and you know, do you want to talk about that oh <laughs> yes <laughs> well that day on the Saturday, All right. Bye, Danny. December 10th, 10th. We got the final it's a very 10th. special day, a memorable. can't, remember, can't rem forget this one, no. you moved that day and, and Andrew 
was like, hey, Danny, uh, you know, we're going to Val's house because um, she invited us to have supper with her mm -hmm. and her family. And I was like, okay, that's great. That way I was not going to be worried about cooking, you know. And <laughs> that was great. Um, I, while I was taking a cold shower, um, I just heard that you were moving like things. It's getting this house. video ready, you know? Yeah. Testing multiple times. Mm hmm. But I didn't know what was going on. The only thing that I knew is that you said that we were going to record a video uh, letting people know what we were doing during the day yeah. and how I was feeling about it. And I was like, okay, this is not a problem for me. I can do this. So I got ready. I got dressed. And <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm ready, Andrew. And so we were just testing a little bit. And then... Um, we were recording the final, the final thing uh, while Andrew was asking me some random questions and I was like, hmm, this is interesting. <laughs> but at that moment, I didn't know what was going on. The, the people, you said <laughs> the it was people. the people. The people, right? Yes, you and me. <laughs> you and me together? See. Si. Would you like that? I would love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You would love that? Yes. To make this house become a home? Mm -hmm. That will be a dream. A dream come true. Come true, yes. <laughs> yeah. I love dreams. And I, I think that when you work hard for a dream, they come true. Yeah. It's not just in here. But actually, if you work hard for that, it's going to happen. Right? Danny? Blanca Daniela Vargas and Amorado. Andrew! Will you marry me? <laughs> of course, yes! Yeah? <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. Too what much. did you just say about dreams? That they come true? That they come true. Yes. <laughs> I love you. Guess who just got engaged? Me? <laughs> <laughs> Until I saw you <laughs> kneeling on your knees and you just took a black little thing from your pocket and I was like ah! Andrew <laughs> was speechless I, I couldn't talk um, at that moment because I was really surprised yeah, it was a great moment yeah and the thing is that Andrew said Blanca de la Vida is enamorado would you marry me? I was like of course yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, and well, we just got engaged. We got engaged, and that was the the tenth. We had a wonderful dinner, and that was wonderful. And then the next day, I got sick, sad. But mm. I spent most of the next day helping Danny move some stuff around, visiting with some friends, and that was a really fun day. But I started to get a little bit sick. It's, it was like a little cold that was going around mm. in the community. And I'm still recovering from it, kind of. I mean, I'm basically back to normal, but I still have to blow my nose every once in a while. But that was, that's been a bit taking a toll on me. So, the eleventh, we were I got unpacking. Sick too. Uh, she got a little sick, yeah. Monday, um, a little sick. A little sick. I was sick, yeah. Andrew. Really, um, it was struggling. <laughs> yeah. So Monday, well, on Monday, you had to sign papers. Yes. And we were in the city all day. Uh huh. And with then. Val with Val and we went shopping. We got a microwave mm -hmm. for her house for the first time, which is super cool. And then Tuesday I was in the city for the food bank stuff. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. That's right. And yeah. then Wednesday you graduated mm -hmm. with honors. Yes. So we had to wake up early again in the morning mm -hmm. and Andrew, you had to be 
there at my house around uh, 5 30 in the yeah, morning something like that yes and then we were walking at that time it was freezing super cold yeah it was super cold and then we were walking from my house to the bus station we wait there and we got on time because I had time? I had to be there at my school at 7:30, but actually they started at eight. We were just waiting there, but at the end it was worth it. It was a wonderful event, and mm -hmm. <clears throat> I was really excited to have my mom there and Andrew. Yeah, uh, and thank you for supporting me. It was wonderful to be yeah, there. And yeah, and I felt super special. <laughs> yeah. It was it was a wonderful time just to see her. Four years of hard work poor, paid off, you know. I mean, she's literally talking to you in English right now. So, like, her four-year English degree is, is great. And getting to practice with me helped out a little bit. But, yeah. you know. Nice. So, after that, we met with David and Rocio. Those are the same people who are on the trip right now with. Mm -hmm. And we went to Chili's, had a good time with there. And then that they came back to see Danny's apartment, and that was great. Um, Thursday. What did we do on Thursday? On Thursday, you had to take uh, go, yes, go with the That's elders right. and yeah. take pictures. So in the morning, I, I took pictures <coughs> with with the elders, and mm -hmm. uh, they were handing out some food and other things for from a couple different organizations. And I took some really great photos. I'll mm -hmm. I'll put them up here. Um, and that was super super good. Just getting to see all the community members and the people and the little kids and mm -hmm. so many fun things. I really really enjoyed that. Um, and. I edited those photos that day and got them to Val, and I think we did something else later on on Thursday, but I can't remember what it was. Um, I think I might have came come over to your house and done something. Um, maybe. I can't remember. Well, that. yes, I went to the city while Andrew was doing that. I went to the city oh, with my yeah. mom, yeah. and um, I was going to do some stuff there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I spent That's when most we, of the day yeah, in, the city. Yes, in the city, and I came back around 5 yeah, in and the we afternoon. Ha we had a wonderful marriage <coughs> counseling session with Tom. Mm -hmm. our you were at my house because uh, we were having some issues at the apartment, and the oh, landlord yeah. came yep. to solve them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you were struggling a yeah. lot with that. And so Saturday, <coughs> well, the landlord helped us out but there were some issues with Danny's apartment on Saturday or mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. and I helped fix some of them on Friday night and Saturday morning Danny came the landlord came and I, I went with Danny and we were working on the apartment and it we got some of the things fixed which was mm -hmm. good um, so basically I was working on the apartment most of the day and then I remember now on Friday um, Andrew said, okay, Danny, let's have um, some Bible study or prayer time together. But then Wendy Martinez yeah. is one of my friends and her children, Marcia and Bracey, came to the house and spent some time with me. But then Martha, which is my co-worker at Casa de Luz, she came to visit too. Mm. So we were having just a good time together and I was like, okay, let's have our prayer time together yep. it was wonderful to have that yep. and and before the reason i couldn't come is because i was moving some of my stuff over to the teen house yes yeah um and we had some wonderful bible times with them also we had lunch we had lunch it was one. a they made, wendy and daniela made a beautiful lunch <laughs> and um then after that i just helped danny fix some mm -hmm. issues and hung out with her for a little while and at noon, we were just getting ready to leave for Rocio's baby shower. On Saturday. Yes, yes on Saturday. Yep. And that was good. We went to Rocio's baby shower mm -hmm. and had a good time there. And public transportation was pretty simple and easy. On the way back, I didn't get a seat, but that's okay. <laughs> and then uh, talked for a little bit. Went to bed. Sunday, we wo I woke up, uh, biked over to Danny's house. We had a wonderful pancake breakfast. Um, did church online. Mm -hmm. and then worked on the house for a while, and then I came back to Ed we and Bell's. No, but we went to the hardware store. Oh, yeah, we went to the hardware store. To get some. Got some nails. I went back to Ed and Bell's, got, like, a drill, and then I, basically Shay Schubert came back with me to Danny's house, and we were hanging up stuff and working yeah. and 
making some, Danny was making some excellent food yeah. as normal. Chilaquiles. Chilaquiles. <laughs> and um, there's been a uh, woman with Ed and Val staying at their house named Anne. And it was my last night getting to hang out and interact with her. And so I had a really great time talking with Anne and just um, getting to mm-hmm. laugh a lot with her. And it was really, really great to see her. Yeah. Um, and in the midst of all of this, Ed and Val was Val was battling with some sickness, which was um, hard. I was a little bit sick. Danny was a little bit sick. Mm. Um, I think the biggest thing, kind of to to tie it all together from this recap, is um, it's been very busy recently. Lots of things have been happening, um, both with Casa de Luz, mm-hmm. both with moving Danny in the apartment, getting it ready for her to graduation. stay in graduation proposing um, <laughs> trips trips just this trip with to, to Copan um, it's it's a beautiful time it's like a day a full day we just get one full day here mm-hmm. um, but it's just the little things like that you know to celebrate mm-hmm. our per- Danny being my fiance mm-hmm. and um, <laughs> also just Christmas time before Christmas time starts mm-hmm. and then going to visit her family for a little bit and then I start school and so I think the biggest kind of recap I can say about these first couple of weeks here in Honduras is that it's been extremely busy. It's been extremely productive. I really haven't had a ton of like me time to just sit down and like process what is actually happening. And so I think like last Friday was a really great day. Last Saturday, last Sunday um, to do that was really helpful mm-hmm. for me. Even though I didn't really process as much as I should. Today I was in the car for like a long time and I got to read a book about just fundraising and asking God for things and trusting in him. And it was just kind of like a really great experience to have that foundation just kind of being like, you know, Danny and I are working on praying to God every morning and, and we're going to work on getting back into doing our, our actual Bible time in the mornings. But making sure that he is priority is kind of something that we're trying to work on and in the midst of being so busy it can be so easy to just forget that Mm -hmm. and so I think going forward um making sure that that is like like tomorrow you Mm -hmm. know like what's what's going to be the priority for the morning yeah is it to get out the door and go sightseeing or is it to like make sure we get our time in in the word um so I I don't know. To sum it all up, I'm having a, an incredible time here in Honduras, especially with Danny. Oh. Getting just getting to be with Danny is is so beautiful because I've missed her so much mm. for so long. I miss you too. And um, I think it's a little bit. There's been a lot of frustrating things with things that I've wanted to get done that I haven't been able to get done. Um, a lot of things where the expectations are there, but they aren't really met. Mm-hmm. And so God's been teaching me a lot of lessons in the midst of all of this. To trust him, to put him first, to have my identity rooted and grounded in him. And to enjoy the, the little bumps and bruises along the way. <laughs> yeah, and I'm so happy to be part of your life and be part of this process um, that you are learning things actually in this country because I know Honduras is super different than the... It's hard. Yeah, than the States. And I know you are not used to this. And, but I think, and that's my hope, (laughs) that uh, you can learn just little by little. Yeah. Not everything at once because that can be overwhelming. Super overwhelming. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this update. I really appreciate just you all following, supporting, following. Um, And for those of you who are praying for me and supporting me financially, I just want to thank you. Um, I know right now I'm not doing a ton of what I feel like the Lord is actually calling me to do with the video stuff. Um, This is a very specific season of like preparing for school getting to fellowship and encourage Ed and Val, getting to work alongside them, getting to encourage my beautiful fiance through college and proposing. Um, 
and getting to spend a tiny bit of time resting before college, not Mm. college, but, but my, my language school time begins. So, um, I'll be in language school for like a couple months. I'll be home in a little bit in April and then, uh, hopefully we'll get married at some point and I will begin my adventure with video. So appreciate you guys supporting me and what God is doing. And for us, it's like slow down, work on the little things day in and day out. And it's not just about creating great videos. It's about like putting God first in our own lives and making sure that we can be witnesses and just encouragements. Yeah, and being thankful. Yeah. For the little things. Yeah, the little things. So thank you everyone. Love you guys and sending hugs.